Today marks 22 years since the terrorist attacks on September 11th and a special tribute at Indianapolis International Airport. An event included an honor guard, the lighting of a candle, a wreath laying ceremony, a choir from Ben Davis performed. It's special because it always reminds us it's a memorial, a monument to remember never to get comfortable, never get comfortable with safety and take safety lightly. Remember that it costs men and women lives to keep our country safety, safe. The first plane hit the World Trade Center's North Tower at 846 that morning. Nine people from Indiana died in the attacks. Steel recovered from ground zero is permanently displayed at the airport's fire station. And the state fire marshal was in downtown Indianapolis at the 9-11 memorial to honor the lives lost today. Steve Jones says the memorial was created 10 years ago with steel beams from the World Trade Center. He says it's also, uh, it also has rather a survivor tree from the World Trade Center and an 800-pound piece of limestone from the Pentagon that details the timeline of the events that took place on that tragic day. Jones says the visits... Uh, that come every single year. He does it to honor and remember the challenges the country has faced that day. And I think we need to remember what happened immediately after that Americans were together as one and there was not the division, you know, that maybe we see today. Um, that everybody really truly cared out for the well being of all Americans. Fire Marshal Jones says he will be at the memorial till 8 o'clock tonight for anyone who wants to learn more. A visible tradition returned over 465 on the northwest side for the 22nd year. James Clark spends 12 hours at the West 56th Street overpass on this date every year holding an American flag. It's the action he took in 2001 and has kept it up. Clark says area firefighters joined his tribute and helped to hold the flag to give him breaks. He tells us he hopes the flag encourages people to not forget what happened. As America commemorates 22 years since the September 11th attacks, a painful nostalgia engulfs a nation. Solemn ceremonies taking place across the country to remember the fallen. And on our first responders who continue to grapple with the aftermath of that day. Gloria Pesmino reports. Today, we pay tribute. Mournful Americans honor the nearly 3,000 people who perished when four hijacked planes crashed into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania. 2,977 innocent men, women, and children who lost their lives. As memorial events take place across the nation, a heightened sense of awareness emerges for those who displayed remarkable acts of heroism on that tragic day. The degrees of cancer are growing and the cost of treatment is growing. Those first responders are still struggling with health effects of handling toxic debris and materials at ground zero. People were coming up with some respiratory ailments that were starting to um, create some disabilities. At least 341 New York City firefighters, paramedics, and civilian support staff have died as a result of post 9-11 illnesses. Exposure to dust at the World Trade Center linked to heightened risk of cardiovascular and respiratory disease. Thousands of cancer diagnoses have also been linked to the toxic air during the attacks. It's the people who aren't dying but are sick. And they're not living, but they're alive. And no one measures that loss. With each passing year, the list of first responders who succumb to post-9-11 illnesses continues to rise. The names continually added to the World Trade Center Memorial Wall. In New York, I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting.